Pack your closed-toed shoes and tiny, wacky hats. You'll be dressed to impress at the next royal wedding, but uh, maybe leave those swords at home. Royal wedding guests had better pack light, because only small handbags are permitted at these illustrious affairs. Give me your wallet, I couldn't fit mine in my tiny purse. While it may seem frivolous, this wedding guideline is actually quite practical. Seating tends to be tight at royal weddings, so there simply isn't enough space for cumbersome luggage. Aside from the limited space at royal weddings, there are a few other reasons why the monarchy favours tiny handbags. The late Princess Diana was seldom seen without a dainty clutch, partly because they were handy for covering up her chest while bending down or leaning forward. With this clever handbag hack, the princess was able to blow block paparazzi from catching her in a cleavage-bearing moment. The late Queen Elizabeth II had some handbag tricks of her own. In a conversation with Newsweek, royal commentator Kristen Meinzer explained that the Queen would use her handbags to convey secret messages to her staff. Meinzer referred to these subtle communications as handbag code and stated, supposedly, if she's standing around at an event and mingling with people and talking, and she switches her handbag from one arm to the other, she's telling her staff she'd like someone to interrupt and end the conversation. Hats started appearing at royal weddings decades ago, when it was popular for British women to cover their hair during official events. These days, hats are still one of the best-loved traditions of royal weddings. Over time, hats have become more elaborate, featuring bigger brims, funkier shapes, and interesting decorations. But even the most extravagant hats are outshined by another headwear trend. Fascinators. These elaborate headpieces adorned with feathers, veils, and other embellishments are the peak of perfection when it comes to royal wedding attire. However, the most astute hat wearers know the golden rule of royal wedding attendants. Make sure that your headpiece doesn't obscure the view for others. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie are known for pushing the limits of royal fashion. Their claim to fame is wearing some of the wildest fascinators the monarchy has ever seen. In 2011, the sisters and their get-ups captured international attention at the wedding of Prince William and Princess Catherine. Eugenie wore a striking blue headpiece with jumbo flowers and a massive plume of feathers. Beatrice turned heads in a ring-shaped fascinator that was topped with a gigantic bow. The infamous headwear inspired its own Facebook page, as well as countless memes. That is the most ridiculous hat I have ever seen. Although Beatrice's hat received a lot of ridicule, the princess came out on top when she sold the hat at auction for an eye-popping $130,710. Funds from the sale were donated to UNICEF and Children in Crisis. When it comes to royal weddings, women aren't the only ones subject to a strict dress code. Men have their own fashion protocols, which help to ensure that every fellow looks crisp and clean for the big occasion. Military members are expected to show up in their finest service uniforms, because, according to etiquette expert Micah Meyer, in terms of formality and respect, it's the top of the top. For non-military men, a dark suit and tie will do the trick. Since royal weddings are daytime events, men can also wear morning dress, which consists of a waistcoat and a fitted jacket with long tails. Lastly, hats are off-limits for the gents. Brothers Harry and William are pros at following etiquette while looking absolutely dapper at a royal wedding. On his special day, Prince William rocked a set of spurs. Then there was Prince Harry, who looked debonair in a merino wool coat during his own nuptials. You might expect menswear to look a bit drab next to the standout ladies' fashions of royal weddings. However, well-dressed guests like David Beckham and Idris Elba definitely know how to turn heads at the big event. As archaic as it may seem, royal wedding guests are expected to obey the standards of British etiquette and the Church of England, and these institutions have very clear rules. No visible cleavage, shoulders or back. Showing an excessive amount of skin is an absolute no-no when it comes to royal weddings. Etiquette expert Micah Meyer summed up the dress code to the Columbus Dispatch, stating, You won't see cleavage. You won't see a lot of skin. At least you shouldn't. It would be seen as disrespectful. Fortunately, there are endless ways to play up the haute couture without breaking the royal dress code. Many guests have covered up with fashionable jackets, like the gorgeous lilac piece worn by Priyanka Chopra at Harry 
Harry and Meghan's 2018 wedding. Serena Williams, who also attended the soiree, looked both modest and fresh in a blush pink dress with an asymmetrical neckline. Then there was Amal Clooney, who stunned in a bold yellow dress that featured a square neckline. Other royal wedding attendees, like actor Jacinda Barrett, added a touch of sizzle to their ensembles with keyhole cutouts just below the neckline. The royal family is known for being prim, polished and polite, so you can expect the same from their attire. Noble women go to great lengths to preserve their modesty in public. In fact, the royal ladies reportedly have tiny weights sewn into the hems of their skirts to keep them in place on gusty days. Naturally, the kingdom's emphasis on modesty also extends to royal wedding protocol. For weddings and other daytime affairs, tea dresses are preferred. This dress style comes with a full skirt and a hemline that falls right Right around the knee. Complete with a high neckline and sleeves, the tea dress checks off all the boxes of a modest, laid-back wedding look. Critically, the hemline of the dress should never rise above the knee. Royal wedding guests would be wise to adhere to this rule, or else they'll really stand out in the crowd, and not in a positive way. Princess Eugenie learned this lesson the hard way at the 2018 union of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The royal was criticised by some media outlets because the hemline of of her dress was hiked up above her knees. At any royal wedding, you're bound to see a full spectrum of vibrantly coloured dresses. From pale, muted monochrome to the boldest hues, anything goes at these stylish affairs. That said, there are a few colours that you simply won't see. White and cream, for example, should be avoided by royal wedding guests because they're reserved for the bride and her bridal party. Oprah Winfrey almost broke this golden rule at the 2018 wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The superstar had originally planned to wear a cream dress, but she ended up ditching the colour for a more appropriate pink design. Black is another colour that you won't see on display at a royal wedding, and that's because the colour is associated with mourning, and that goes for any shade that looks dark enough to resemble funerary attire. Former Spice Girl Victoria Beckham raised a few eyebrows when she attended the 2018 royal wedding in a dark navy dress from her own fashion label. Although some critics felt that the colour was too somber for a wedding, the public didn't seem opposed. In fact, Beckham's dress was so popular that there was a wait list to purchase it from her shop. Guests had better put away those toes, because sandals are not permitted at a royal wedding. Closed-toed shoes are an important element of royal etiquette. However, that's not the only footwear rule. Guests should also leave their towering stilettos at home. Fortunately, there are plenty of ways to obey the royal dress code while looking positively fierce. Oprah Winfrey and Serena Williams definitely got that memo at Prince Harry's 2018 wedding to Meghan Markle. Both ladies dazzled in outfits that they paired with the perfect subdued heels. Nude footwear is a popular choice for these royal affairs, as evidenced by stars like Princess Catherine and Pippa Middleton, who looked amazing in subtly shaded shoes in 2018. But for those bold enough, bright colours and metallics are also an option. Amal Clooney amped up her wedding glam with shimmering pumps at the 2018 royal ceremony. Victoria Beckham also slayed the footwear game in a pair of bright orange heels. Lady Kitty Spencer, the niece of Princess Diana, embraced the colour craze with a pair of orange velvet heels that perfectly complemented her Dolce & Gabbana dress. What are you thinking about? My sword. There wasn't a sword in sight at the 2018 nuptials of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. While swords may seem like an unusual wedding accessory, they're actually quite common in British and US military tradition. Since military officials attend royal weddings in uniform, it's feasible that some might show up with their swords in tow, but Meghan and Harry requested that no one did. Swords were not the only accessories on the minds of Meghan and Harry as they planned their big day. They also requested that guests abstain from wearing medals to the ceremony. It seems that Harry and Meghan's choice to exclude medals and swords was a matter of personal preference rather than protocol. For the 2011 union of Prince William and Princess Catherine, medals were on full display. In fact, David Beckham made big news when he accidentally wore his Order of the British Empire medal on the wrong side of his lapel. The star managed to correct his faux pas later in the day, but it didn't go unnoticed by eagle-eyed reporters. 
While tea dresses are the look of the daytime, floor-length gowns rule the night. In line with royal tradition, 6pm marks the glamorous peak of royal wedding fashion. That's when guests are permitted to ditch their hats and slip into their most elegant evening wear. As is also tradition, the crown jewels are permitted to be worn during this part of the day. While royal wedding ceremonies are for the public, the receptions are much more intimate. In fact, Harry and Meghan's reception guests were forbidden from bringing their phones to the event. But thanks to some insider tea, we do know that it was an unforgettable evening, complete with drinking games, fireworks, and an impromptu performance by Elton John. Meghan Markle set the tone for the evening in a glamorous custom gown that was designed by Stella McCartney. Her guests looked phenomenal too. Priyanka Chopra was absolutely golden in a gown with tulle details, while Serena Williams looked breathtaking in a floral Valentino gown and a stunning Bulgari necklace. 